could win money for the future. So remember to enter the Allstate It's Good Sweepstakes. You could win $100,000, VIP trips to two of the biggest college football games this year, and other weekly prizes. Enter today at AllstateCFB.com. I've already had the opportunity to apologize that he has to deal with me instead of Reese this evening. Uh, Jeff, it's good to visit with you. We, we could probably piece together that there'd be some combination of Florida State, uh, Alabama, and Oregon, one, two, three. And the question was ultimately who would be one? What was the committee's reasoning for placing Alabama number one this week? Well, I think Alabama, the committee felt Alabama has been right around that top four. And with that, what we considered it is a decisive win over number one uh, Mississippi State, we really think that combined to their body of work put them into the number one position. And we feel like Alabama really is the most complete team right now, offense, defense, and kicking game. And we think we put all those things together and felt like Alabama was clearly number one now. For Florida State, Reigning national champs, I understand last year, in a sense, doesn't matter, but they've not lost. And if they ask you, and I'll ask on their behalf, why are we third? Why are they third? Uh, you know, again, we look at their body of work. We look at the games, how they played them, whether they've controlled the games. You know, they've had a number of come-from-behind victories. Uh, but again, we looked at that body of work, that resume, and compared it to those around them, uh, Oregon and then Mississippi State. For Mississippi State, there's the disappointment of losing, naturally, and yet there obviously has to be some excitement in what they call Stark Vegas, that they hang on to that fourth spot. There was questions about how you all would view those, those three, what were signature wins at one point, uh, the LSU, the A&M, and the Auburn. As those other teams have lost, have the, uh, has the, the weight that those victories have carried with them diminished in your eyes? Well, they've diminished a little bit, but they're still quality wins. You look at that LSU and the Texas A&M. But the thing about Mississippi State is, you know, that game with Alabama, while, while we would say Alabama controlled that game and won, it did end up a five-point game, and you never felt like Mississippi State was out of that game. So while Alabama controlled it, Mississippi State was within striking distance in that game. Jeff, TCU wins, but they drop out. How much did the committee hold against TCU that they uh, were trailing and ultimately only won by four against the Kansas team that only had three victories? Yeah, again, when you add that, uh, that to their body of work, it was uh, obviously a close game. It come from behind at one point uh, at Kansas, a team that does not have a strong resume this year. That certainly impacted it. As for Ohio State, uh, they're, they're looking at the remainder of their schedule, a, a chance to perhaps uh, climb a bit, but they'll need Wisconsin to continue to move up. Where do you see Ohio State fitting in? Obviously, uh, we see them ranked sixth, but uh, what was the, the, the discussion that, sur that surrounded the Buckeyes? Well, Ohio State has had three, or excuse me, two impressive road wins in the Big Ten. And those were the statements that they made, you know, on the road in the Big Ten against uh, ranked teams. And that made a very positive uh, statement about Ohio State and allowed them to move to the level they did. So we were real impressed with the work that Ohio State has done the last two weeks, particularly because it's on the road. I guess the final thoughts about Baylor, and this is ground that I know you've covered with Reese vis-a-vis -vis the head-to-head -head and the remainder of the schedule. Baylor was off, but uh, as we look at them as a comparison with, say, TCU, as time continues, if Baylor were to continue winning given the strength of their remaining schedule, would it be reasonable to think that they could move up? Well, a couple of things. Baylor only has nine games uh, on their resume thus far, so they've had a, an extra open date there. And, you know, at this point, the committee doesn't feel uh, that, that Baylor and TCU's body of work are comparable enough that the head-to-head -head would kick in. If Baylor continues down the road and con continues to win, um, you know, then that may come into play in the future. But, again, the committee tends we look at this week and what the teams have done at this point in time.